The Ocean Sciences Division is located at Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. We're right at the border of Mississippi and Louisiana on the southern border. We're a group of almost 200 oceanographers all in the same physical location. As a young scientist who would come to the Naval Research Laboratory, I don't think you're going to find better facilities to help you do your work. You have great physical facilities, great computing facilities, great field work facilities, and you have this huge group of scientists here. My particular focus of my research here at the Naval Research Lab is uh, basically on a lot of it is remote sensing. We're looking at different remote sensors on a, on a satellite and looking at the thermal signature of the ocean, we're looking at the color signature of the ocean, and we're looking at the, uh, the height of the ocean. It, it takes a very diverse group of people to be able to do that. And so we have physical scientists, we have oceanographers, we have biologists, we have chemists, we have math majors, we have computer scientists. My primary focus is studying ocean dynamics and we try to understand the physics of the ocean from the observations. I also look at uh, developing new platforms and technology to uh, make our ability to measure the ocean better. We look at satellite images and we combine that analysis with our modeling tools and we use that combined analysis to try to understand mechanistically how the oceans are working. I do corrosion work, also focused on biodeterioration of various naval assets, looking at, you know, what the ocean currents are doing to our naval carriers and also looking at just the deterioration over time based on different microbes that are wearing against metal alloys and things of that nature. In the Seafloor Sciences branch, we are focused on studying the bottom boundary. This is a real team environment and we have some of the best and brightest folks in oceanography, in sedimentology, in engineering, ocean engineering that work for the Navy. In the Seabed Sciences Division, I work on a lot of remote sensing. We use things like drones or fixed stations uh, and use different kinds of sensors that could include cameras or infrared uh, imagers. One of the great things about working here at NRL is that we have a whole suite of sensors from those that we place on the seabed to capture the hydrodynamics, to, to map the bed forms themselves over time, to autonomous systems that allow us to map the, the wider littoral zone, and even some unmanned aerial systems that we use. My research focuses on windblown sand on Earth and Mars, and I develop instrumentation to be able to better measure the process of windblown sand so that we can validate our models with the best field observations possible. We do several kinds of uh, global prediction in which we're trying to estimate what geologic properties are at the seabed, even where they're not directly measured. And lately we've been doing a lot of this using machine learning techniques. The Center for Geospatial Science has a very broad multidisciplinary focus. So we have responsibility for conducting research and development on charting, and so that includes mapping for the Navy. The other part of what we do is related to supporting the oceanographic mission of the Ocean Sciences Division. So from our point of view, the ocean is really the ultimate big data problem. So my group of about 60 scientists is about 80 to 90 percent computer scientists. My research here is we're looking at how people use digital maps and how we can improve those maps and the automation that generates them so that the user or the analyst is able to more quickly and easily create the map. And then on the machine learning side, we're looking at how can we make that machine learning more easily adapt to the human and uh, the current situation. When we're not out in the field doing work, our focus is to do the next level of development. So we will typically have human factors uh, people with us when we go in the field to try, to try to get feedback from the Marines. And we'll turn it into code changes and new development from a UI perspective or from a back-end data store perspective to support what they want to do. Our job is to understand the ocean physics, and that includes everything from the ocean circulation, the temperature, salinity structure, the waves on the surface of the ocean, the ice caps, to build systems that can predict what those properties are going to be in the coming week, up to several weeks. And we develop those into systems that people run operationally and then provide everyone on ships the information for their safety. 
I work a lot with satellite data, so both polar orbiting and geostationary satellites. We pull information, uh, the brightness temperature data from these satellites, and we turn it into uh, parameters that we can actually use. And then we can put these into a model so we can better represent what is happening in the ocean as well as at the air-sea interface. One of the things that I've been working on uh, quite a bit in the last five, six, seven years is uh, wave modeling in the Arctic. And of course, once you get to high latitudes, you have to deal with the problem of ice. And that's actually one of the most fascinating uh, aspects uh, of this is that um, it involves different physics than we have in other parts of the world. So we have to consider the effects that the waves have on the ice and also the effects that the ice has on the waves.